to go do our normal Monday workout, which uh, consists of a five mile tempo, and then we do four by one mile repeat over at Lincoln Park. It's uh, it's been a classic North Central workout for you know the history of this program. Anything they're doing in this workout is faster than they do in a race. So we don't, you know, we're, we're getting the training effect that we want cardiovascularly, but we want to make sure we're getting the mechanical efficiency that goes with it. And with the me mechanical efficiency that goes with it is the mental side of it, where they're able to hold themselves together with good form while they're uncomfortable. Afterwards, I'll look at, the, you know, what times they ran and kind of look, look at that and get an evaluation. I'll do that tonight and tomorrow, and uh, we'll look at that. But right now, I just look at legs, and if I see somebody tailing off or dropping off, I'm concerned with that. I'm not concerned with the time, I'm concerned with how they look. So what we really try to work on when we're out there is simulating a race. Now granted in a race you're not going to get breaks or anything like that between miles, but what we try to simulate is you know working on that group dynamic. You're far better together than you can ever be alone. And what I get concerned with is if I see people stringing out in long lines, then they're really not running a team dynamic, a team race, but you know, I'm looking for where they can naturally find each other and find two to three to four uh, guys to run together. They, they feed off each other and get energy from one another, and that's far better position to run from that kind of strength than to be strung out. And again, ultimately, and you look at any cross country race, the, uh, what you're looking for is the spread. What is the spread between one and five? The shorter that spread, the better your team dynamic. We need you guys. We need each and every one of you. You can play a basketball game with four, but you can't run a cross country meet with four. We need five, 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 five. We won a national championship one year, and the other team that we beat, I won't name them, they had four guys in the top 16. But their fifth runner was 160 something, 150 something. So we won the race, but they had by far a stronger upfront performance. So you've got to get five guys that are con connected together as closely as they can be. So you want to be working on that all the time. And you posted quite a series of improvements last year, uh, particularly, like I said, in the outdoor season. Um, what do you attribute that to? Um, I think it's just hard work and tweaking a couple things. My sophomore year, I left outdoor nationals with a bad taste in my mouth. Um, Five minutes. You know, uh, I got 10th at the national stage for 5K, and I was doing too much speed work, and I kind of got away from aerobic uh, tempos and stuff like that, so that was really my downfall. So that's how I changed it last year during track. I was, doing more uh, tempo on the roads and stuff like that, so 400s or 800 meter repeats. So Al always reinforces the idea of negative splits in workouts and he always brings up uh, Craig Virgin. Uh, he said Craig Virgin started getting good when he learned how to negative split workouts, so that's really a big emphasis. Not to, you know, go out too hard in the first mile or two and then kind of get slower each rep. Bando! 
program has such a strong history of success. Um, how does it feel to be adding to that legacy? Uh, I think it's it's great. I mean, that's why I came here. I wanted to be part of a, a program where the team was kind of paramount, and that you know we were part of a you know just a unit, and we knew how to work together and how to uh, how to succeed as a group. What do you think the team has in terms of potential leading up into the postseason? I think with any team, uh, especially ours, I think there's endless potential. We have so many guys, you know, that come to North Central who, you know, are nobodies when they come here, you know, and they develop into these great runners, all Americans, national champions. It's, you know, it's a proven formula that we have here, and you know, these guys are always willing to step up, and it has a lot to do with our culture and the way, you know, younger guys look up to the older guys to set the momentum and, you know, build that team up year after year. Go boys, three together, come on! 214, 215, Smokey all the way through. 49, 50, 51. Yeah, boys. Awesome. That was a grinder. It was, always is. So how are you feeling after that workout today? Uh, pretty solid. I think we uh, went into it with kind of the idea of trying to keep our group, or uh, the five guys we had up there together, we've been stringing out a little bit in some of our workouts, and uh, we're working on just, you know, keeping that split nice and nice and tight, and uh, I think it worked well today. We worked together well. Um, maybe didn't, we always tried to negative split the workout, didn't quite get there, but it was close enough that I think it was a pretty solid day. So I thought today, uh, from our standpoint, was a better practice than we've had all year long in terms of, you know, we still can do a better job. But for right now, as early as it is in the season, I thought we had really good group dynamics, good team running, and that's what we want to keep keep improving upon. Uh, it was a good good team day. Um, I mean, I negative split the workout. It wasn't the greatest negative split, but it was negative split nonetheless. Um, I'm, we're just kind of all tired right now. Obviously, we're not um, sharpening for anything. We haven't backed down our mileage. A lot of the guys are running 90, 100 miles a week. Our emphasis now is just kind of consistent workouts week after week after week, and then the racing will come. One starts to matter in the middle of October to in the Nationals. How many miles are you doing a week right now? Uh, probably, nine, I have last couple of weeks, 98 to 102. So um, tomorrow, obviously, is recovery day, so those will be easier. And I think the biggest key for anyone looking to improve is to focus a lot on recovery after your workouts because the you know, better you're able to recover, the more your body's able to take in the workout, and then you can hit the next workout harder.